animals prepare to be astounded, bedazzled, and otherwise stupefied. I'm Three Dow, your master of ceremonies. Everyone ready for the Capital Wasteland's latest news? Me neither, but it's that time again. There have been more and more sightings of raiders over by Evergreen Mills. Smart money's on them having some kind of camp out that way. Keep that in mind the next time you feel like nosing around that neighborhood. Until next time, this is Three Dog! Ow! And you're listening to Galaxy News Radio, bringing you the truth, no matter how bad it hurts. Now, some music. <laughs> Washington, D.C., has been reduced to what is now known as the Capital Wasteland. The cap never rest until we have what we deserve. A place to truly call home. Reflect upon all I have said, my America. Reflect and wait. For soon, this great nation will be reborn, and the Enclave will be its salvation. Until we meet again, this is President Eden signing off.
again, sweet America. This is President John Henry Eden, and I'd like to chat if you've got a moment. I've been thinking quite a bit lately about something we can all relate to, something that is unquestionably, inescapably American. I am referring, of course, to our great national pastime, baseball. Or so it had been. That's right, America. Before we were devastated by atomic war, each state had its own professional baseball team. Imagine a perfect, cloudless day. The sun is warm and welcoming, and on the horizon, they appear like knights of yore, armed with bats of ash and hickory. Their name, the Capitol Congressman. Their purpose? To make you, dear America, revel in the joys of sport and sunshine, if only for an afternoon. Now, ask yourself this. What if the Capitol Congressman could live again? What if they could compete with baseball teams from Pennsylvania or Maryland? Put your faith in John Henry Eden, great America, and baseball will live again. Comfort, recreation, healthy competition, all will live again. This country will live again. But for now, my America, we must part. Restoring the greatest country in the world to its former glory, well, 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 that takes time, even for the uncle. Till next time, this is President Eden, signing off. exactly as planned. We are subjecting the residents to extremely low frequency white noise, regular intervals through the loudspeaker system. Using the soundproof recording studios, the musicians was an inspired idea. <laughs> Kudos to the vault Tech selection committee on their shrewdness. Dearest America, this is your president, John Henry Eden. Let's chat, shall we? You're thirsty, aren't you, America? 
not for knowledge or power, no. I'm not speaking metaphorically. You're thirsty for clean, fresh water. Water is the foundation of life. But here, in the Capital Waste, and indeed the entire country, water is polluted, irradiated, deadly. Maybe you've got a makeshift purifier that cleans one glass of dirty water a day, or, or you sip from an ancient faucet in an abandoned subway restroom. But that's not really living, is it? You're simply existing, America. Postponing death for a day or two. Well, I'm gonna tell you, right here, right now, those days are at an end. The Enclave is back, America. We've brought clean water with us. For years, Enclave scientists have been hard at work on the most ambitious scientific endeavor the world has ever seen. Project Purity. Imagine. The situation is getting out of hand. Over half the population of the vault is exhibiting savage tendencies. You can only assume our noise experimentation has awakened some dormant part of their psyche and brought their primitive nature to the surface. In essence, I feel that they are almost psychologically devolving. I was stupid for rushing these experiments. Now over 35 people are dead. Will truly be quenched. So, celebrate. Sing out! America is back! America is beautiful!